How y'all doing? It's O2C Racing here. Oh, me and Buck over here. You know, we sell products on TV and we try stuff out. We like it. We put it on here and we race dirt track race cars and we're plumbers. You know, me and him, we go out and plumb. We've been buddies and friends since we was kids and old Buck, he's a good old boy. He's a little, little stupid sometimes. But anyway, plumbing was a little slow last month, so I had an idea. And Buck was for this all the way. I said, why don't we start us a little tree trimming, you know, business. There's a lot of trees in town that look like they need to be trimmed. And I had one of them there chainsaws, you know. So me and old Buck, we put out them there flyers, you know. And the people would call us and say, hey, come trim a tree. Well, it's the first guy, first customer. And we weren't advertising nothing. Here we just, you know, make a little extra money, pay for our beer and, you know, beef jerky. Anyway, I got over there and this, this tree, this guy had this tree in his yard. And this thing must have been eight foot around. It was huge. It was like one of them, looked like an oak tree on it. It was huge. I mean, that thing had to be 100 foot in the sky. And I was trying to figure out, me and old Buck, we was over there by the truck talking, you know, together, trying to figure out how much we should charge him for this. And what he said was, he said, I'd like to, treat, I'd like to trim down that tree a little bit. Okay, well, I heard tree, and I heard trim, and I heard down. So... That old boy went to work, and old me and Buck we parked our old truck out there in front. You know, good old truck. I told Buck, I said, well, you know, I think I think what he's trying to say is he wants to get rid of it. Because he said, trim the tree down. You know, and, and I, I, think I, I, I think I interpreted that right. So I told old Buck, I got my chainsaw out. And I was hacking away on the bottom of this thing. I figured just, chuck, just chuck, you know, cut the whole thing and let it fall over. Of course, you know, I'll do one of them there logging kind of cuts you know i've seen on tv them logging guys i'll cut it here and here and here you know me and a buck will just fall it right over there well, i started gnawing on it in big old chunks and stuff and about the time i was getting ready to you know do that last cut i told buck i said you need to get out of the way buck because this baby's coming down and and the plan was i was gonna fall you won't fall that way you know kind of like where it needed to be and i had this all figured out i had it all figured out it's gonna go that way you know the house is over here, it'll go that way. Well, I, I cut a little bit more and took one of them big wedges and a sledgehammer and hit it one time. And I heard it go crack. And that thing started to fall. And it, I, Well, the plan was to go that way. And it went that way. Now, it didn't go near the house. I got to admit, I, I didn't miss the house. Boy, when that thing fell, it landed right on my truck. <laughs> right on my truck. <laughs> my truck looked like a horseshoe. And guess what? Guess where Buck was when that tree came down? <laughs> he was in the truck. Okay, yeah, well, so the, the fire department came over and the police and stuff and the ambulance and uh, couldn't find Buck for a while. They had to, they actually helped me out there a little bit. They, they trimmed all the tree up and cut it all down in smaller pieces and got it all stacked up out of the way. <laughs> I figured that is helping me. Free money. Anyway, they got all down to the truck, and the truck was so smashed, old Buck, he was somewhere down there in the floorboard wrapped around the shifter. He got an old four-speed. And they used the jaws of life, not that there was anything left of the truck to save. They used the jaws of life, and by God, they got him out. He didn't have a scratch one on him. First time Buck ever did something with me, where he didn't get hurt. <laughs> anyway, Buck, Buck, that was your lucky day, boy. <laughs> anyway, so old Buck, he's, he's surviving, didn't get hurt, but I'll tell you what. He did shit his pants, because when that tree was coming at him, all he could think of was die. <laughs> so the owner came home in the middle of all this cutting and trying to get Buck out and looked at me, and boy, he was he was upset, because that tree had been in his family for about 150 years, and, it, and he told me I was stupid and dumb, and I should have never cut that down. Whatever gave me the idea to cut that tree down, I said, Mister, you said trim that tree down. He said, I just want some branches trimmed down off of it. Well, you didn't specify. <laughs> so me and Buck did what we thought we had to do. I'm going to tell you right now. Not only did I lose my truck, I got my best buddy here, though. <laughs> oh, lucky. Anyway, old me and Buck, we, I got my Buck buddy still. We didn't get paid for the job. I think the old boy sued me, but I already told him, I said, about the only thing I'm worth is a six-pack of beer and a pack of jerky. So you ain't going to get much out of me, but... He was pretty unhappy, but we decided not to trim trees because we need to do a little research on how to trim them. Because uh, obviously you don't start at the bottom and work your way up. <laughs> I got to get out of here. This is 2C Racing. Come watch some of me and Buck's adventures. Or at least let me tell you about them. I got to go. Bye-bye.